Last night, I had a nightmare about a killer clown. Hello? I know someone's there. Show yourself! What in the mercy bus? Stop your worst nightmare. <laughs> I was terrified. I thought that telling my friends about my nightmare would make me feel better, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, stop laughing at me! What a baby! <laughs> yeah, clowns are fun, not scary. Hey, Steve! Who am I? Oh, hey, are you dressed as a clown? Come on! So now I'm redesigning mobs into creatures based on their nightmares to get my revenge. Starting with... Austin. Okay, Guido, looks like the coast is clear. They're not in. So where do we start? Well, first of all, I need to find a mob and hit it with my mob modifier tool. I mean, look at this thing. It's so awesome. But at the same time, I need to sneak into their house and find their dream journal. That's going to tell us exactly what they're dreaming about. <laughs> what a dummy scared of clowns. Oh, no. They're back. I'm not even scared of clowns, and I'm me. Guido, get down there and distract them. Got it. Oh, hey, Guido. Are you here to laugh at Steve as well? Okay, I've bought myself some time. Now I just need to find the dream journal. Now, where the heck would Austin keep this thing? Uh, hey, check this out. Whoa, Guido, are you a puppy? <laughs> Who's a good boy? I do, 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 do. Uh, running out of time. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I haven't been up here. This must be the bedroom. Uh, anything unusual? Uh, oh, secret chest! Gotcha! And you're a teddy bear! Oh my gosh, what can't you do, Guido? Now to find what Austin's been having nightmares about. Monday. Let's see here. A whole bunch of garbage. All good dreams. Nothing that I can use. Um, uh, it's so hard to read with the spelling. Uh, there's got to be a nightmare in here somewhere. All right, Guido. It's been fun, but I'm going to head back to my tree house now. Bye-bye. Oh, no, come on. Aha! Thursday. I dreamt of a lot of pancakes. Yum. But it was too many pancakes. I couldn't eat them all. <laughs> That's it! I've got to redesign a mob and make it something to do with pancakes! There's got to be a mob nearby! Oh, this is gonna be so good! Let's see here, there's gotta be a fish! There we go! I'll just turn this salmon into a pancake shark! Bam! First of all, I'm gonna increase the width of the head to make it nice and pancake shaped! Then I'll size up the body, add some fins, and try to match up the scale of a shark! We can't forget about the shark fin. And then I'll redesign the salmon skin to make it look like delicious pancakes. Add a bit of syrup to the fin, blueberry eyes, and of course, some razor sharp teeth. And just like that, the pancake shark is ready to be brought to life. Oh, it looks so good. You're hungry, aren't you, boy? Don't worry, I'll have dinner ready for you real soon. Just gotta get in touch with Guido. All right, Guido, everything's set up. You just need to lead Austin into the water. Gotcha! Wait, Austin, I've got one more thing to show you. Yeah, what is it? Check it out. I'm a balloon now. Oh, I love balloons. Follow me. We're going to have so much fun. You okay? Oh, Guido, I don't know how to swim. <gasps> Wait, now I do. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. They're exactly where I want them. This is going to be so good. Oh, Guido, where are you going? I just want to grab you. That's it. Come closer, Austin. Hey, Guido, where are you going? Oh, no, Pancake Shark! With Austin dealt with, and to make sure I wasn't going to get into any trouble with the law, I chose to target Sergeant Shaw next. The problem was that Sergeant Shaw was the leader of the police, meaning he was constantly being protected. So I had to distract him and his guards to get into his police station and find the Dream Journal. No way Shaw's gonna leave his police station, so let's make something distracting with this sheet. I'm going to turn this sheep into an evil criminal. So Shaw will have no choice but to leave the station and go confront them. But it can't be any normal criminal, right, Steve? 
no, we're going to make this guy look super sinister. I'm going to start by completely disassembling the anatomy of the sheep and make it stand on its legs. Ew. Whoa, he looks so weird. Don't worry, Guido. This is about to get even weirder. We're actually going to be going for a humanoid design with this. So I'm going to adjust the head and make it more human shaped. We're going to add some hair and some glowing red eyes. Oh, yeah, this guy looks terrifying. Then we're going to add a traditional burglar outfit. And to make him the most dangerous burglar in the world, we're going to give him multiple arms so he can steal more. Then Sergeant Shaw will have to confront him. And just like that, the most sinister burglar in the world is ready for action. Uh, hey, nice to meet ya. Now, as you can see, Guido, this guy has multiple money bags. And every time he robs somewhere... <laughs> They'll fill up one by one. Seriously? A clown? <laughs> What's going on? Why are so many places being robbed? Hold up, boys! We got 1035 downtown! Well, there goes Sergeant Shaw. Looks like my plan worked. That was only one part of my plan. Now, I need to get his dream journal. <laughs> Sounds like a gunfight's begun, Guido. Then we better read Shaw's journal. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look. This dream journal seems stupid, but I'll do it anyway. I had a dream last night that I was in a dark alleyway. There was a body on the ground with a knife plunged to its chest. It was up to me to find the killer. Other than the knife, there was no evidence to be found nearby. Just a few graffiti tags and the smell of murder in the air. I began my investigation, but as I reached into my pocket to find my notepad, I found a can of spray paint. Could I have written the graffiti? But that would have tied me to the crime scene. My hand shook as I chewed the knife. I found fingerprints. I returned the prints to the station, and... What I found next was horrifying. They were my fingerprints. Am I a bad person? I, I devoted my life to justice. Was, was it all a lie? I couldn't have done this. Not me. I am a good police sergeant. I am a good police sergeant. I am. I am a good police sergeant. I am a good police sergeant. Oh, of course. Shaw was having a nightmare about being a criminal. Which means we've got to make it come true. Just got to find a mob. <laughs> nice work, boys. Donuts are on me tonight. Let's get back to the station. They're on their way back, so we need to hurry. Shaw thinks he's the authority over the Minecraft dimension. But what if there was someone with more power than him? Someone in a higher position than a police sergeant, a police warden. Like this kind of warden? No, no, no. Even worse. We're going to start off by making this pig really chunky. Then we're going to give him some massive fists and some massive legs. Then I'm going to do whatever I've done here with the eyes. This is like really gruesome. But it's all going to pay off, I'm sure. Oh, and by the way, this down here is a cage. You'll see why I put this here in a second. Next, we're going to give this guy a fancy suit. And this is from a nightmare, so he needs to look super scary with a big toothy grin. Now we'll just fill out the rest of the outfit, put some finishing touches on the cage, and the warden is ready to roll out. It's alive! <laughs> That's gotta be Sergeant Shaw! Follow me, big guy! Oh, gotcha! But Shaw's men were already running away himself got locked in prison by the warden. And with the cops dealt with, I could focus on my next target, Chris. But Chris was one step ahead. With Austin going missing, Chris became super paranoid and wouldn't let anyone near his house. You're not gonna get me next. I couldn't protect Austin, but I can protect myself. Hey, Chris, you're looking a little worried. Is everything okay? Stay oh back, Steve. Chris, this isn't you. I don't care. You shouldn't be out here anyway. 
There's a pancake shark nearby. Pancake shark? Oh, come on, Chris. That's silly. Oh, you think I'm stupid, huh? Okay, Chris is really mad. But look, Guido, there's a beehive right there. If we can reach it, I can use my mob modifier tool, and I think we'll be able to get ourselves out of this one. Oh, go, yeah. go, 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 go! <laughs> We don't have a lot of time here, and we only need a bee to distract Chris. So I'm just going to go ahead and make myself. Wait, what? How's that going to help? Well, Chris isn't going to know which is the real me. Oh, it's going to be perfect then. Oh, <laughs> dude, there they go. What the? There's so many of them. Which is the real Steve? There's our chance, Steve. We've got to find that dream journal. Yeah, and you know what? I'm going to make this super scary because Chris deserves to be scared after this. Okay, dream journal, dream journal. If I was Chris, where would I keep this thing? I think this is his bedroom. Uh, nothing in the floating chest. Uh, oh, right here. Wow, it's so well hidden. Monday, I dream of beef and battle. Tuesday. I dreamt that I won the most prestigious science award in the whole Minecraft dimension. Wednesday, a wonderful dream of all my girlfriends fainting over the sight of me. I wouldn't be able to resist me either. But oh, soon, yeah. I would come to a horrifying realization. Chris didn't have any bad dreams, only good ones. I told you not to get any closer, Steve. Now everyone is going to remember you as the guy with the really embarrassing dreams. Oh! No, Chris, don't do this, Keep please! Keep the modifier. I got an idea. Uh, okay, Guido. Just keep him busy. I'll be back. So, uh, <laughs> pancake sharks, eh? What's next? A uh, banana split sharks? Oh, gosh, please don't shoot me. Uh, have you ever wondered why uh, there are so many uh, pigs and sheep? And squids in the Minecraft dimension. There's just I can I can barely count them all. What are you talking about? Oh, Shut gosh, up already! No! Ah, you'll do. Ah. If Chris only has good dreams, then I'm gonna turn those good dreams into nightmares. I'll start off by removing all the clothes from this villager and mend the arms. Now we'll just work on some swimwear. I can't believe I'm doing this. And the hair, just as I remember it. And the lady villager is good to go. But we need a twist. We're gonna add a parasite inside of her. So when Chris gets close, he's gonna be in for a real surprise. <laughs> what the? What the heck was that? Looks like Chris is interested in whatever it was. It's her! The girl of my dreams! Wait here! I'll be back to kill you in a second. Uh, okay? Uh, I can't believe you're actually real! That's it, Chris. Get nice and close! <laughs> what the heck is going on out there? Oh my gosh! Oh, Chris is getting pummeled! Yeah, that's exactly what you deserve! Welp, guess I can tick him off the list. It was pretty brutal, but that was Chris out of the equation. I just didn't realize that someone was following my every move. There they are, Guido. My next targets are Netta and Rocco. Did you hear someone is going around attacking people? They say that their nightmares are coming true. Oh yeah? Well, my biggest nightmare is not completing this ultra marathon run. Now will you shut up already? Okay. Well, those two are clearly distracted, so I can sneak around the back here and access their lockers. I'm sure their dream journals are gonna be inside. We've got one red locker, like Arnetta, and one green locker, like Rocco, I, I guess. So I assume that in the red locker, we'll find Arnetta's dream journal, and in the other one, we should find Rocco's. Now, let's give them a read. Wait, are we gonna scare them both at once? Yeah, that's the plan. All right, I have a confession. Even the most muscular, most defined, and most humble bodybuilder in the entire dimension can be scared. I found that out last night. I hate bugs! Who thought it would be a good idea to give bugs, the most terrifying thing in existence, a hundred legs? Imagine what I could squat with a hundred legs! Huh. 
That's weird. Our nets has never mentioned being scared of bugs before. Okay, on to Rocco, I guess. Last night, I dreamt of winning the title of strongest in the entire multiverse. <laughs> After winning the title, I found the most adorable little puppy outside the arena. Ooh, I can't wait to fall back asleep again and see that little guy. This puppy has been acting weird. I've never seen an appetite like this guy's. And I eat 15,000 calories a day to be the strongest ever, so I know appetite. So, uh, do, do puppies normally lose their minds when the moon is full? I'm a bit freaked out. <laughs> I took fluffers on my nightly cardio grind and he broke his leash and made disgusting noises. I, I don't want to sleep. I don't think that Rocco has the imagination for a dream like that either. Yeah, something's not right, but listen, if that's what the dream journal says, then those are the dreams they had, and we are gonna scare both of them. You take this, and I've got a backup mod modifier tool. You're gonna prank Rocco, and I'll prank Arnetta. Good luck! See you, see you. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! Oh, here we go, just through there. I can see myself a spider. Now, Arnetta would be scared of this by itself, but I definitely think we can make some upgrades. Now, let's see. What should I do with this? Oh, maybe I can turn it into a centipede. Arnetta did mention a hundred legs. And just look at that face. It's so terrifying. I wonder how Guido's getting on. Aw, you're so cute. But you're perfect for my project. One werewolf coming up. Oh, Rocco, you don't know what you're in for. But as myself and Guido continued with our designs, I didn't even realize I had made a big mistake. Oh, this guy is so gross. Now all I have to do is text Arnetta and ask her to meet me in the cave. Hey, Arnetta. Sorry to bug you. <laughs> but I'd really like to meet you underground. Hopefully she falls for this and Guido is doing the same. I was completely unaware that I mixed up the dream journals. Arnetta was the one having bad dreams about the werewolf. And Rocco was the one having nightmares about insects. Now, I had no idea what their reactions were going to be. So, what have you got to show me, tiny boy? Why are we in this cave? It's cold here. That's it, Arnetta. Come a little closer. Oh, hey, Rocco. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> this better be good. Now, Arnetta, you may be wondering why I invited you into this cave. Well, it's because of this guy. Now feast, my pretty. <laughs> oh, she is totally scared. I, I think. Oh, she better be getting torn to shreds right now. Uh, <gasps> what is this weak little thing? You're not scary at all! Wait, wh why isn't she scared? Unless... Oh no, I got the dreams the wrong way around! Guido! Who's a good boy? A fluffy good boy! <laughs> no, 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 I really messed up! There's gotta be some way I can fix this! I've gotta get that centipede over to Rocco and Rocco's werewolf back to Arnetta! Unless... Okay... Uh, this is fine. Uh, there's a bet right here. I'll just turn this bet into something that can transport the centipede over to Rocco. Maybe some kind of drone would work. I'm gonna stretch out the bet's body as much as possible and change its skin to be nice and metallic. We're gonna add four rotors to the corners just to make sure it's got enough power to lift the centipede into the air. And of course, we can't forget a hook to connect onto the centipede. And there we go! Wait, what? What, where is it? Where's the... Oh my gosh! The centipede is dangling from the drone! Now go! Fly, my pretty! Fly to Rocco! Yes! Oh my gosh! This could actually still work! What in the multiverse is that? What in the multiverse? Is that a werewolf? It's like the one from my nightmare! Oh, But what about Rocco? Uh, uh, ah! Ah! It's the multiverse that all works out. And now all that's left on the list is... Oh, no. No, not her. Anyone but her. Lily. 
The problem was that Lily is absolutely obsessed with me. All because we dated one time. She isn't like this with her other ex-boyfriends. That's because her ex-boyfriends didn't make it when they broke up with her. Oh, right. Honestly, Guido, I really don't want to find her dream journal. I just don't want to interact with... Uh, oh my gosh. No, that's it, isn't it? Th that's the dream journal. Oh, do I have to do this? Whoa! Step into that portal right now, Stevie Weeby. Or else. Uh, hey, Lily, j just relax, sweetie. No way. I've been having dreams about you. And we're going to relive them together. Uh, okay, fine, I'll do it. Uh, what the? Is that? Am I... Am I wearing a suit? Uh, oh no. No, Guido, where am I? This isn't... No! What are you doing? You're keeping your lovely wife waiting. No, 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 please don't let this be what I think it is. Okay, I'll follow this guy and... Oh my gosh, all my friends are here. This is it, isn't it? This is my wedding. Hi, Stevie Weeby, you look so handsome. Oh, this is gonna be the best day oh, ever. This is my worst <laughs> Lily had trapped me inside of her dreams. To escape, I had to use my mob modifier tool. Uh, let me see, there is a horse over there. Don't maybe. look at my carriage. Look at me. You're what? Well, maybe I can make a break for it. I've got to make something to ruin this wedding. Okay, now let's see here. I can turn this beautiful white horse into something truly demonic. Yeah, that'll stop this wedding. <laughs> Sorry, Lily. Looks like I ruined your dream wedding. <laughs> so, Lily, you uh, probably don't want to marry me anymore, huh? You think it's gonna be that easy? What the? This hey, is my hey, dream. Just calm down. I didn't it's mean my it. Room. Stop! 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 No! No! Uh, wait. What's going on? Where am I? I mean, this room seems pretty nice and friendly and warm and cozy and, most importantly, no Lily. Yeah, yeah, I could get used to this. <laughs> Sounds like your dad is awake. Oh, no. What in the multiverse is going on? No, I'm not your dad. Stay back. Oh, this is so gross. Why are there so many of them? <sighs> Oh, this is horrible! This is horrible! Oh, there's gotta be something I can do! Wait, there's a parrot right there! If I can just reach over uh, with my mob on fire! Uh, and then I'm gonna turn this thing into something that can take out all these babies! Whoa! Sorry, Guido, but it has to be done! Let me try and make something like this? Uh, oh, get rid of these guys! That's it! Take them all away! It's over. It's finally over. Steve, I want a divorce. Yeah! I thought this was everything I wanted until... Thank you for being so cooperative, Steve. Here is a list of things I want. Shh, no we way know. am I staying around for this All boring ceremony. I'm out of here. Yeah, hey, let's just... Wait. What? No, 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 this can't be happening. I've got to go. No! Okay, you know what? It's fine. I'll just use my mob modifier tool. Wait, where is it? It's gone. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm taking this too. My, my mob modifier. There's nothing I can do. I've lost everything. Nobody's going to save me now. Wait, who is that? That's... That's the clown from my nightmare. Stop your worst nightmare. Oh, this is my worst nightmare. And just who are you? I'm the one who's going to shut this divorce down. Now that's what I call a shotgun wedding. But I can't keep this crazy clown alive. I I've got to take him out. It's the only way to get out of the nightmare. I've got to make him something nicer. Hey, I am nice. Throughout this adventure, I've been turning good stuff into scary stuff. 
But now we're gonna flip it around. Oh, there we go. Adorable. Steve, it's happening. We're coming back home. Ugh, I did it. I'm back in the real world. I completed my list. And now I can finally get some sleep.